Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am coming at you today with a huge haul of things I've been buying for the past like few weeks. I can't stop buying things, I have a problem, I need to stop. But charity shops and vintage and discount shops in general are just my favourite place to go at the minute. And yes, I need to stop because it is becoming a bit obsessive I want to say but I just I mean I enjoy it okay leave me alone uh, hello if you're new around here my name is Caroline I am a mum to a three-year-old boy called Ellis and a three-month-old little girl called Quinn and yes I've been shopping shops I've been to home bargains charity shops all the charity shops Vinted is now my favorite place to shop ever where else have I been and Choice if you didn't know what Choice is Choice is essentially an outlet for next and next I find, I don't know about you, but I find next really overpriced. I just think it's so expensive for what it actually is. But choice, on the other hand, is basically is branded next clothes, but cheaper. And I'm happy to pay the prices for those things. And top tip, if you were a mother care fan, specifically Little Bird, who is the Jules Oliver creator, Little Bird's like the rainbow themed clothes and I absolutely adored it. And um, also I just do want to quickly add my setup. It's not the most aesthetically pleasing. We moved house uh, to this house in May. Yes, end of May, beginning of June. Trying to figure out the best lighting and what have you. Obviously I have a three year old this candle is only there for this video. <laughs> Let's get into it. I'm gonna try and do this in like shop order, but in all honesty, it's all sort of been shoved in a box and a bag and just all a bit higgledy piggledy. So I'm I'm gonna try and keep it in order. If it's not in order, we'll just have to get by. So let's see. Okay, home bargains, here we go. So first of all, I bought four of these big washing baskets. I have three of them already, three of these gray ones. They're on top of our kitchen cabinet and that's where I'm like storing overspill of like crisps and pasta and things that just don't fit in the cupboards. So I've got those above the kitchen cabinet. And then I had an epiphany after seeing someone on TikTok. And basically from now on, whenever I shop at Aldi, instead of flapping about with getting all the food into the trolley, getting it out of the trolley, for the person to scan it on the conveyor belt, to put it back in the trolley, to take it over to the side, to put it in bags, take it in the car, you know the ordeal that goes on when you go to Aldi. I'm just now gonna put some washing baskets in the boot of my car. So when the person shoots the things through the checkout at the speed of light into my trolley. I can just take it in my trolley to my car, just take the things out and put them in the, in these. And then when I get home, I can just take these out of my car and shove them straight in the house and not have to flap about with bags. It's too much stress. Before I go into home bargains are some candles I got from the M&S outlet. This is one is called Bar Humbug. It smells like gingerbread and it's absolutely delightful. This was, oh, I don't, don't have a price on it. It wasn't as expensive as it would be if it was in a full m and shop. That's all I can say. I also got this candle here, which is a three wick candle. I think it's about 10 pounds and it's not a Christmas or festive scent. It's like a calming scent. It's called Retreat and it's very nice. Another thing from m and these letters, a Q and an E, they're obviously Christmas tree ornaments. They didn't have a C or an S annoyingly for obviously myself, Caroline and Sean, my husband, uh, which was frustrating, but it is what it is. But they did have a Q and an E. I was absolutely, convinced they wouldn't have a Q. I thought, you know, no one's name really begins with Q. So to see a Q, I was like, absolutely need to buy that. It's Quinn's first Christmas and there's an E, perfect. So that's our kids have little decorations for the Christmas tree this year. I've done it. I've committed to Buddy the Elf. My son is three. And so we were umming um and ah um ring on whether or not we should bother with the Elf this year. And We've done it, we've committed, we're gonna do it. I know people say you should hold off starting in for as long as possible because it gets tedious, tiresome, everyone hates the elf. I can guarantee you I will be someone that hates the elf at some point in the future, but I'm excited to give him a go. <laughs> so we're gonna give Buddy the Elf a go this Christmas. So yeah, he's from the works, he's not from Home Bargains. He was three pounds, I think. And yes, you can get loads of stuff for the elf. I didn't realize, and um, the words had like a sleeping bag for him. A uh, little outfit. We haven't committed that much to him. We'll see how he goes. <laughs> and then the rest of the home bargain stuff actually. So I got this little t-shirt for my son. It's a glow in the dark skeleton. Obviously it was £2.50. I thought that's quite sweet. If that sweet's the right word to describe a Halloween costume. And then got two of these 
Astonish toilet fizzes. I love these, they're so easy to use. You just hurl them into your toilet, leave them there overnight or for a few hours, and then it cleans off your lime scale and stuff inside your toilet. I haven't had this eucalyptus since before, so I'm looking forward to this one. I've bought these in the past. I think these are about £1.25 each, not awful. I got this because of the shape of the bottle. This is this is shower gel. And if you know Astonish brand, their cleaning products, the kitchen cream cleaners come in this shape bottle. And I picked it up thinking it was yeah. picked it up thinking it was a cleaning product, sort of shower gel, and was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> Sorry, I had to have a, a baby break and uh, she's now bouncing at my feet in a bouncer so it feels like I'm moving, it's because I'm bouncing. I got some Halloween bits from Home Bargains. I got this wax melt ghost one, it comes with a wax. I'm not, it's called Screamberry Punch. You can't really smell it though because it's like in plastic, wrapped in plastic. And then I've got this a pumpkin one as well which is a pumpkin spiced one. Uh, so yeah, that's it. I don't know how much these were. I think they're, oh, I don't know how much these were. I reckon they're probably about like two pounds each, maybe. I'm not sure, but yes, they're pretty cool. And then keeping with the Halloween theme, I had to get a mug. This, these mugs, I think in Starbucks are like 12 to 15 pounds. I think people are going crazy for them. Uh, but yeah, in Home Bargains, it was two pound 50. So I was like, gonna get one of them. I'm not even that bothered by the Starbucks one or by this, in fact, but I was just like, I like it. It's fun, it's Halloween-y, it's a pumpkin tree skirt for Christmas because we need one and I don't know how much that was actually how much was that I don't know that's not a receipt for home bargains but yeah we need one of these it's nice and it's very soft as well and yeah and the final thing I got from home bargains is this party mix of sweets it's like all the you know the usual sweets but the best thing about them is these are vegan ones never thought I'd have a drumstick ever again in my life because obviously drumsticks are uh, made of gelatine and this one isn't so this is great this is for trick-or-treaters uh, for obviously halloween we don't want to be caught out because that would be awkward um i forgot my most important purchase from home bargains this vase <laughs> it's the most ridiculous thing i've ever seen but i saw it and was like i need that it's little <laughs> just going quickly back to the works a top tip if you have a small child who has just started school or nursery and starting to get invited to parties and you don't know the people and the children very well, I recommend going into the works and making a, taking advantage of this deal. Look, 10 books for 10 pounds. So I did that. And so basically I've got 10 books now because my son Ellis has been invited to a birthday party in a couple of weeks time. I don't know the child. I don't know the parents. I will get to know them obviously at the party, but I don't know what to buy her. So I don't want to buy the little girl something random and plus everything's so expensive these days I don't want to be spending like anything more than like a couple of pounds on a gift uh, that she's not interested in so everyone likes a book and yeah so I've got 10 books for 10 pounds at the works and they're good books as well like they're not just like they are proper proper books uh, like, you know Harry McCleary one I got we're going on a bear hunt a classic and like you know Harry and the dinosaurs there's like ooh. Oh, there's like quite a few varieties of these ones. So yes, a top tip, if you have a kid who's being invited to parties and you can't afford to be spending fortunes on presents or you don't know the kid, do the 10 for 10 pounds. On to choice slash a next outlet. This is the only thing that wasn't discounted, but we had to buy one for my son. It's a dressing gown. I think this is a cat or is it a mouse? I'm not sure. I think it's a mouse actually. This was 12 pounds, which is a little bit more expensive than I would like to pay. I prefer to buy things like on Vinted. I was looking at a few dressing gowns on Vinted, but hadn't committed yet and was like, you know what? He needs one, it's getting colder. So I've got this. This is actually four to five and he is three years old but this will save me having to buy one again for next year. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's really nice, it's really soft. They do Little Bird in choice and I blink and love Little Bird. I love me a rainbow print. And so I find Little Bird's actually very expensive, full price. It's absolutely ridiculous how expensive it can be. And so finding it in a, ne a next outlet mall for cheaper was like my dream come true. Hey, oh, because I am now that mum, I have bought my children matching. <laughs> matching outfits so the first thing i have got these are full price 28 pounds i would never pay 28 pounds for these but in choice they were i think 14 which is still quite expensive but i'm not paying 28 pounds it's less than 28 so i'm happy <laughs> so i bought them these dungarees oh where are we yes they are matching dungarees and so they'll be able to wear them at the same time 
and match. How adorable is that? And then as well as those two, I got them the t-shirts as well, which are a little bird on it and they're the same sizes. So yes, yeah, so there's three years age between them. So yeah. <laughs> I love it. And these were two pounds. Got these little trousers for her. These were one pound 75 and they are just so cute. Look at them. And then obviously Christmas is a coming. And so there's this little dress here. There's a pinafore, which is seven pounds 50. Oh. And this little dress, which again was seven pounds 50. So a little pudding on it. Sweet. And then my favorite, favorite thing, nine pounds 50, another little bird purchase. And it's this little velvet collar dress and it comes with tights and little uh, bloomers to wear underneath. And I think that's such a like, nice little like, Christmas day outfit. Just adorable. He is cute, isn't it? Do you like it? And then on to my favorite place to shop, secondhand shops. Vinted is my new number one favorite place to shop. If you're not on Vinted yet, you need to get on there. It's just, you can buy everything on there and it's just incredible. I can't get enough of it. Uh, I've had to rein myself back a little bit because I have gone a little bit mad recently. So Vinted and charity shops obviously are my favorite place to go to. So I'm just gonna, first of all, the first thing I'm gonna show you now is this little jacket because it's wet. It's just come out of the washing machine because obviously it's from a charity shop, has to be washed. And yeah, I, take, I took it out of the washing machine earlier. It was like, ah, I'm filming a haul, it's wet, dang it. So yes, yeah, so this little coat here, this coat was brand new in the charity shop and uh, it's from the company called Dress Up Baby. So I've obviously I did a little bit of Googling and this jacket, I think not this color, but I think a yellow color, this exact jacket though, is, is being sold on the website for 24 pounds. And I bought this in a charity shop for three pounds 95. So I was incredibly happy with this. It's in my little girl's size right now and I'm sure it will last a little bit longer than six months as well. So I absolutely love it, it's reversible as well. I don't think it's on the point of reversible items of clothing to be honest with you i just don't understand what the need is no there's never been a time in my life when i've gone i'm just gonna reverse this and wear it because i like the inside of it more i don't know i find it an odd concept but either way it's a reversible jacket so it can be this nice little pink uh, dusty pink or a darker i don't know what color, burgundy i don't know what color that is but yeah i love it so the things i bought from vintage i haven't got everything to show you because i say this to every single person who i speak to vintage about Vinted is better than eBay by about like 100% because the best thing about Vinted is the idea that, that you can do something called create bundles. So essentially, for example, if I'm selling like 10 items of clothing, I say I upload them all individually on my Vinted page and then someone comes onto my page and they only like say seven of the items. You scroll through my page and you select the items you want and you buy the items you want only and sometimes you can add like discount if someone buys more than one or two items, you can add like a bundle discount. And yeah, it means you can just buy the things you want as opposed to like on eBay where someone's just selling like a job lot of clothes or a bundle of clothes and you sort of look at the bundle and like, but I don't like half of those things. So yes, you can go through people's vintage pages and select what you want. And so this is where my, <laughs> this is the issue I have with it. I no longer will buy or I will never buy one item from a vintage seller. If someone on vintage is selling one item that I like and nothing else I like, I won't buy that one item. I just have to, for post, to, to justify the postage, I have to buy a bundle of items. So this is where I'm spending a lot of money <laughs> because I'll sort of go through their page and be like, oh, I like this one item, what else do I like? And I'm probably spending, you know, like eight pounds more than I need to, but I need a bundle of clothes. I can't, I cannot justify in my head to pay for one thing and like two pound 50 postage. <laughs> So with that being said, I bought a lot of stuff and I'm not gonna show you all it now because a lot of it is like just sort of average like little girl rompers and like boy t-shirts and things like that. So there's no need to show you. I'm gonna show you my favorite things I've bought from Vinted. Um, you'll see a theme as to why I'm buying these items. First of all, this adorable dress. How cute is it? I love it. Uh, this. <laughs> with a hat <laughs> um, as you can see there's a theme here I said to myself when I was first pregnant with my son that I wouldn't dress my kids well this is this one's a little bit different I wouldn't be dressing my kids in sort of like uh, cartoon clothes 
like not out, not like dress up. I mean, as in this sort of thing. I was like, oh, I don't want like things like this on my kids' clothes. I prefer them just to be plain. But now I'm, now I just don't care. You know what? Before you have kids, you say a lot of things that when you have the kids, you think, what was I thinking? How? I mean, I love, I love this dress. This is Primark, um, and it's just adorable. A lot of these things are from the Disney shop themselves. Um, but yeah, this is cool, like a little jasmine outfit. This. I found one seller who was selling like all of these, these, these like little Disney, oops. These Disney tutu vests. Obviously they're a lot bigger than my daughter is at the minute, but she will grow into them. As you can see, it's very Disney themed. We like to dress our kids up in little Disney outfits. And then my husband will Photoshop them into some sort of like Disney-esque theme and it's hilarious and adorable. And yeah, so that's where I got all of those. Like I said, I did buy a lot of other things with them. It's not all Disney themed, but I'll just show you the fun things here. And then the things from my charity shops. So obviously I got that jacket I just showed you. Also got this Mickey Mouse little money box. It's initially was meant to be for my son, but now I'm thinking maybe just have it for us. <laughs> it was £3.50 from British Heart Foundation. A little bit more money than I would like to pay for something in a charity shop, but uh, it is what it is. I don't get to choose the prices. Uh, and then I obviously got this as well. Not everything's Disney, although I think it actually is. It's a bit, I like Disney, all right? Uh, this mug, 101 Dalmatians, obviously brand new. This was £5.50. Again, quite a lot of money for a charity shop, but it's brand new in the box. These two books, so Star Wars one, we are big fans of like art books in this house. I'm always buying uh, art books for like my husband's birthday and Christmas. And I'm, I couldn't care less about Star Wars, but it was, it was 99p. And so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna buy it. And then this book, which I think is probably my favorite purchase uh, recently, is this Donald Duck. Happy birthday, Donald Duck. It was £1.50 and it's like a little, history of Donald Duck, which it's like a vintagey one. I'm a big fan of vintage Disney books. And then what else have we got in here? Only a few more things to go and then, then I'll be it. This little vest here, which is technically too small for my daughter. It's zero to three months, but she will fit into that still. We will make her fit. It was brand new. It's obviously gone through the wash, so I've taken the label off, but it was three pounds and uh, yeah, brand new. So it's original Mouseketeer on it. Sweet is that. And then this little jumper, which are someone's grandma has knitted and it ended up in a charity shop for a pound. That's a crime. So I had to buy that. I don't know what size it is. Obviously when someone hand knits something, you don't know what the size is. So it looks about six to nine months, I would say. Very cute. And then <laughs> this hat. This has been through the wash. It's dried really well, actually. Uh, this hat, I mean, it's ridiculous, but it's just the cutest thing ever. Obviously not for me. I forgot, there's two more things which are for me. What's the, that's unheard of, buying clothes for me. <coughs> yeah, both from charity shops. A jumper from next, it's a lot, size large, it's a bit bigger than uh, my usual size. But I quite like the idea of an oversized one. And yeah, so I'm a big, big fan of rainbow stripy colors. As you can see from the other top I bought, which is this one here which was 7 99 which is again, it's a lot of money for a charity shop, but it's from Jules. So I can't be too complaining about that because it's pretty, pretty expensive brand new. And it's like a fleecy material, so it'd be great for the colder months. And yet again, you can see, big fan of stripes. And yeah, that is everything. I've bought a lot and I've still got the itch to keep on buying stuff. But I'm gonna have to rein it in a little bit because I'm gonna be bankrupt soon. <laughs> this maternity pay isn't gonna afford all this. So I've got to stop buying stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> can't take it seriously. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it's inspired you to go secondhand shopping. If you have liked this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.